somebody get in the corner over there for me. And you get in that corner over there. How about you get on the wing? You're okay. Stay on the post right there for me. Can I have the ball though? I haven't touched it yet today. There we go. All right. You're in the corner. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Just so just so we can see the we can see the slides and we'll go real slow here. Now remember what you got. Now you got what? First pass. Yeah. What happens if I throw it down here though? You got, that's right. You got the first pass wherever it goes. Okay, here we go. Now, if, if you got guys over here now, you're probably gonna be more like this, right? More in here so you can see them in here this way. Okay, I can see them both. I, I now, is, when the ball's in the air, I gotta react when the ball's in the air and the ball comes here, and then sometimes we'll, we'll kind of creep out here if we want to extend those passing lanes and make, them, make the lanes a little longer. You know what I'm saying? See, what, what happens is sometimes we, we're kind of, we've been historically kind of small except for a few times, and what happens is when they got, a, they got a post guy who can play, you want to make those passing lanes longer. You want the ball in the air for a longer period of time. You know, I, a long time ago, I didn't know, I didn't know what, uh, I, everybody kept talking about spacing. I didn't know what it was. You know, I, I mean, I knew it was kind of get away from the guy, but I didn't know, I didn't really know what spacing was. So I called my dad. I said, Dad, you know, what's, what's good spacing? He said 15, 17 feet. I said, why 15, 17 feet? He said, it's far enough away one guy can't guard two. And, and, and the ball's not in there that long. You can snap it off. You think about when you shoot. Well, how do you want to shoot? You want to shoot with the ball coming right here in your right in your shooting pocket, right? You don't want to have to field it up here, or down here, or whatever. And, and, and honestly, I think, and I know I have, I think we've made a terrible mistake by coaches pass the ball all the time. Well, I don't need any more practice. You know, and what we, we pass the ball all the time to, for guys in shooting drills and that, and so kids don't pass the ball as much as they used to pass the ball. And, and what happens is you learn then that give me the ball here. Instead of when a game starts, then they hit them all, hit, bang them off their ankles and throw it over their head and all kind of bad things happen. So that's, that's, what, that's, okay. You understand what we're doing? Okay. Here we go. Ball's there. Okay. Now what? Now hands. See, I want, I, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, a physiological fact that when you put your hands up, your butt don't have to come with them. They're not connected. There we go. You ever see that? You say, get your hands up. A guy on that goes, sit down a good stance right there. Okay, now, what are you doing now? You should be sitting in here. You should be sitting in here like this, sitting in here, getting ready to go. You got help back here. Don't worry about that. So that you can get out to here because you have to put great pressure on the ball out here. So as soon as that ball's in the air, you're sitting in here like this. As soon as it's in the air, here you come closing here, closing on the high side right here. Okay, we're diving there. Denying here. Now, there you go. Deny it right there. You know why? Because we want to shrink all those gaps. We want to shrink all those gaps. We want, we, we want it to look like there ain't anywhere to go. You can still deny from there. You don't have to be over here like this because if you're over here and this guy makes a bad closeout and they drive into there, we're going to get beat. So I'd rather have you sitting in here, shrinking those gaps, taking this away. And see, we're always lining the ball, always lining the ball. We're not, we're not, uh, we're not anything other than lining the ball. And the reason that we want to be lining the ball is I want the pass to have to go over me or under me or around me, can't go through me. Because if it's a direct pass, guys will jump up and shoot it. 